time for a catch up with Barnaby Weir, who last time he was here was about to launch off on a Fly My Pretties tour. Fly My Pretties, a collection of musos, of course, that uh, they put together in a different way each time. And when he's not doing that, he's part of the Black Seeds, of course, a band that German Rolling Stone called the best reggae band in the world right now. And Barnaby Weir is with us. Good to see you again. Good morning. That, uh, that, that, that Fly My Pretties tour, how did that go? Oh, it was, it was a blast, actually. Yep, yeah, um, 23 shows from Kaitaia to Invercargill. Jeez. Yeah, we put on some work down there. Uh, are you the organiser of that? I mean, do you logistically oh, do that? Because how many no. are in the Fly My Pretties? A dozen? Luckily, I don't have to do all, all the logistics. No, there's a big, quite a big team, good team at Loop, Loop Recordings, Sharina and Mikey. Um, there were 12 people in the cast yeah, yeah, this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, 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 like, do you go through the motel door and go, right, okay, can you tick them off in the we van, do. Yeah. moving on? Where's Billy? Exactly. Where's Wally? Exactly. Yeah. Does, it, does it wear on you the whole, I mean, 23 is a big... Well, that was uh, the biggest New Zealand tour in terms of dates in a row that I'd done, um, and, and the seeds, Black Seeds have done some you know, good touring around, around Europe and stuff, but yeah, 23 uh, dates in a row is, is quite a lot, quite a lot for any, anyone, and uh, you've got to be organised, you know, you've got to really be organised to, to not lose it, lose your, lose your rag. And... Yeah, exactly. Do you know what, I've got some, I've got some inside goss on, on, on the tour, and, and what I was told this morning is that you got better as you went along. Because I was asking, I was asking, I said, because you're putting out this album, which is the live album, and so it struck me, you recorded each of the shows, so you had 23 shows worth of stuff at the end of it, and you decided, well, so we'd need that song, so what? which was the venue we played that particular song best at? Yeah, sure. Um, we were, a lot of them were in the South Island. That's because yeah, um, we got a bit better, better later. Right. Um, so all those say... people who are in the North Island the... can ask oh, for still... a refund because <laughs> you weren't quite up for it in the early part. <laughs> no, we were. You know, I, I mean, the fish on Kaitai was actually really good, but it's just that you do get better, and the songs change a bit too as you you know they develop as you're going down the country. So yeah. So I'd say Christchurch, Wanaka, um, Queenstown, and Invercargill were where most of the takes were from. If you were there, they were the nights to remember. Yeah. How far? Because I've always thought because I'm enjoying at the moment. Glenn will, Glenn will roll his eyes at this, but I ordered the other day the complete collection of Paul Simon albums, right? Yeah. And there are, there, are, there, are, there are about, I don't know, 15 or 16 of them. And on there you hear those, you know those people, the singer-songwriters, they vary up their songs over the years. And, and, and how far would you go with the song to vary it up? If you've been clever enough to write something, how much would you vary it up just because you can? Yeah, well, I, I think a good example is, is Bob Dylan who, who did that. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, and people get a bit upset when he's, you know, he's just trying to make the song exciting for himself, isn't he? So, um, but if you, if you, you know, playing Blowing in the Wind and your fans want to hear, you know, that, that track, they want to hear it like the original, don't they? So, um, so well, see, I don't. I want to hear, hear, hear a variation because oh, if you're the original artist, you can do whatever you want with it. See what I'm saying? Yeah. And so change it up for me. Do something different with it. Do you do that or no? Um, yeah, sometimes we do do that. Um, like for example, on this tour, I did a version of, of "Let's Roll," a song from the first album, just in a more of an acoustic way, not a rock way. Mm. So yeah, yeah, it's worth doing. It's worth mixing it up for yourself and for the audience. So you're doing this tour, or you've done this tour, yeah. and then you've got your, your 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 Black Seeds thing as well. Are you going on the road with the Black Seeds over summer? Uh, we are going on the road to a few spots, but it's not really a tour as such. It's kind of individual, um, a sprinkling of shows, if you like. Um, summer when, shows. When does a sprinkling become a tour? <laughs> well, what's the definition uh, in the well, music industry kind of, of that? Separate, unrelated gigs in a way, apart from the fact that we're playing. Um, whereas a tour is, you know, an organised uh, oh, okay. you know, three or four weeks, and, um, and 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 you're on the road for that time. Where did that German? Rolling Stone thing come from the best. I mean, that's awesome, Mate, isn't I, it? I How just, good is that? Well, that's great. It's a, a great plug for us, and I believe everything that's written um, in any publication or said on radio. So you know, I, I'm, I, I support that. Uh, good I on you. What they're going to say. What, what, what's with the German connection? Do you, you spend a bit of time there? Uh, yeah, the Black Seeds have spent uh, quite a lot of time there um, over the last five years, and um, um, we just we toured there this year, and um, and there's just a good response for us there. And Why and how do you know? Why and how do we know? Because one, people turn up to our shows, which is yeah. good. They pay the money. Um, we're just getting a good, a good feeling from from our audiences there, and they're they're really onto it in terms of uh, what's happening uh, in New Zealand musically, and they really like uh, a lot of bands from here. They Seriously, just, are they all they expats do. or are they? No, these Germans. are these are straight up German people. Yeah. So, but when I say how do you know, I'm talking about like how do you know where to target to start? I mean, of all of Europe, why would you go to Germany? Why wouldn't you go to Belgium or Austria, Portugal, Spain, Italy, or yeah, good, good, good question. But I guess they're keenest, so they 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 book us, they book us, right? And um, they book us in their festivals, and they um and they want us back, and and um and, and we you know we're getting um good crowds, so we you know it's kind of becomes obvious. Yeah. I love it. And do you look to expand once you've got yourself a peak hole in Germany? Do you look to expand in Germany or out you know to 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 expand in Europe? 
Yeah, sure. I mean, we we just try to do um, all that we can with uh, with the families and, and everything else, and the and the and the music we have to make and, and the albums we want to make in, in New Zealand. So, mm. you know, we, we're based in New Zealand. We want to be based in New Zealand as far as the seeds are concerned. So, you know, if you were if you were a uh, smart band and you really wanted to give it a good push, you'd move to Germany or you'd move to uh, America. But you know, we can't do that, and we and, and so we uh, we're happy doing what we what we are doing. If you know what I mean? See, I know because you've got age issues, haven't you? I mean, you can, because because <laughs> I'm so young. Yeah, you've got well, you you don't have kids though, do? You, but, no. but but band members do, <coughs> and you got to take that into account. Presumably, Absolutely. and life changes, and expectations change, and you can't have dad on the road all the time in Germany. Exactly. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. So, but they can go for a bit, you know. So can they? Uh, yeah, they can go for a month or so. Now, so I read somewhere this is the most disturbing thing about you, Barnaby. Is 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 that what's your favourite European location as far as? Oh well, um, and as far as cities go, mm. well we've got. Um, I really enjoy uh, Berlin. Really enjoy Amsterdam. We've got lots of friends. Bingo! There. That's what it was. Amsterdam was the answer that worried me most. <laughs> oh really? What's What's the matter with you? Have, <laughs> I tell you, what, what is What is there to love about Amsterdam? Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Have you seen Amsterdam in summer? I've been. Uh. I can't remember. I was that when I was there. I don't know what season it was, but I looked at that and I thought, "You got to be kidding me!" No, I know people will be like, "Oh, because it's a naughty place to be," but that's not why I love it. Um, you know, we have Dutch friends there, and over the years, you build up these this family, yeah. you know, and that's really what what I what I like about it. But it is a beautiful place to go in summer, really? and um, yeah, it really is. And um, and um, we got mates there, and we got fans there, so I guess that's why I like. It. I suppose friends make any place good, but Berlin too. It's a doer place. Yeah, I've it's... been to Berlin. I've been to Munich. I've been to Frankfurt. Yep, I'd take Frankfurt over Berlin any day of the week. All right. Yeah, I haven't but I don't have a lot of fans there. So so maybe it's different for you. Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to play? Well, uh, in the studio... Um, yes, I should introduce, and that was very rude of me, and I'm very, I'm very sorry about that, is, is, is uh, Cara Gordon, yeah. who, is, who is here with the Lancaster. He's got a, a guitar on his hip, and uh, we're going to play his song, which is called Leave This Town, uh, which is on the album out Friday, the new Flummer Pretties album, the Homeland Recordings. So, uh, With all the best tracks from the southern part of the tour, when you really got it together. And, it was, right. and it was humming in Christchurch and Wanaka. Humming. It was humming. It was, it was humming. humming. So, uh, Good on you. Here we go. Gonna leave this town, gonna find myself. You gonna leave this town, you gonna find myself with you. You gonna leave this town, do nasty things with you. Clothes on the floor, you get out the door, get naked, get nasty, you. To a whole lot of crazy things, no one has to know a thing but me and you. Getting high and making love is all we're going to do tonight. You're going to leave this town. You're going to find you on the road. You're going to leave this town. You're going to show you where to go. You're going to leave this town. Have a whole lot of naughty fun. Have your smokes, have your drinks. Make love in the sun. Do a whole lot of crazy things No one has to know a thing But me and you Getting high and making love It's all gonna do Tonight The new thing, me and you. 
Young heart making love That's all we're gonna do Tonight You'll leave this town Awesome Thank God you brought him along Because last time you didn't and look what we were missing. That was genius. That was absolutely brilliant. Wasn't that fantastic? Good luck, good luck for your small smattering of collection of shows, and uh, good luck with the album as well. Thanks very much. Nice yeah. to see you. Welcome anytime.